Cash is just an absolute sensation. He is a prodigy in the truest sense of the word. And he is now in first place, tied with two others in the candidates with just two rounds to go. So I just want to... Ali Reza Faruja, he's looking at this board. You can tell he doesn't want to play it out anymore. He understands that the minor pieces will team up not just against his first pawn, but against his last remaining pawn as well. And so for Faruja, he wishes that he could restart this tournament and play a much better first half because that would have allowed him chances in the second. But for Ali Reza, the pain continues in Toronto. Uh, he may not be quitting chess. He's made that quite clear. But he will quit this game any moment now because... Hikaru Nakamura has found all the correct moves after that 41st move blunder from Farouche. David, I mean, look at Farouche's face. This is just a player who doesn't want to be at the board anymore. Yeah, he knows his practical chances are pretty much over, but it does take a bit of willpower to extend the hand to offer your resignation and to uh, end the game. There we go, though. It is a result. Hikaru Nakamura takes the win. This could be vital. Huge. Amazing performance by Nakamura. Third win in a... He wishes that he could restart this tournament and play a much better first half because that would have allowed him chances in the second. But for Alireza, the pain continues in Toronto. Uh, he may not be quitting chess. He's made that quite clear. But he will quit this game any moment now because Hikaru Nakamura has found all the correct moves after that 41st move blunder from Farouche David. I mean, look at Fruz's face. This is just a player who doesn't want to be at the board anymore. Yeah, he knows his practical chances are pretty much over, but it does take a bit of willpower to extend the hand to offer your resignation and to uh, end the game. There we go, though. It is a result. Hikaru Nakamura takes the win. This could be vital. Huge. Amazing performance by Nakamura. Third win in a row in the candidates tournament. What a performance after losing game game two against Vidit. Who would have thought that he's back and playing for the first place, being the challenger? More turnarounds. This is pretty much over. Yeah, you see Gukesh, I mean, no matter the angle of the camera, uh, he is a player who's locked in, determined, stoic, resilient. I don't have enough adjectives in my vocabulary to describe him because uh, the way Gukesh recovered, not even just in this tournament against Faruja, and we see the handshakes are in. Gukesh is a f officially one of our co-leaders. He joins Jan Napamshi and Hikaru Nakamura in a three-way tie for first place. Uh, Gukesh is just an absolute sensation. He is a prodigy in the truest sense of the word. And he is now in first place, tied with two others in the candidates with just two rounds to go. So I just want to on what I was saying is that Gukesh, the way he was able to bounce back after a very bad performance in the Isle of Man, he lost so many rating points. And when you're on that, uh, you know, on that line, just straight shooting up to 2,800 and suddenly- What about queen h4 here? Check. Bishop, you have to go bishop h6. Yeah, queen h4, bishop h6, and then bishop, uh, or queen f6, and the bishop can't block and the queen is detonating. I think that if this is not a draw, if white has some way to get out of this, yeah, out queen of h, uh, yeah, because the forcing idea here is bishop h6, queen f6, and then queen mates, and it's just over. So if white can survive these checks, which there you go. Bang. He did not. He did not. Wow. Yeah. In fact, wow. Wow. So that's it. Wow. GG. Matthew advances. GG for a while. Our, our wow. tournament early favorite actually with the white pieces goes down. That wow. is incredible. G5 born, of course, long term will be doomed as well. And the white knight, there's no way to keep it out forever. Eventually it gets back in. And talking of getting back in, Hikaru is back in with huge chances in this tournament if he wins assuming when he wins at this point he will join Jan Nepomnishi in the lead third win in a row Robert this would be huge for him and you saw him staring up he's thinking what about that world championship I literally don't care oh uh, yeah that's uh, not the case he cares now he will be in a tie for first place with Jan Nepomnishi it looks like Gukesh will join the two of them Fabiano Caruana trying to stay within a half point of them so we have what appears to be a four-person race, but Hikaru Nakamura, this moment is about him. And you see Ali Reza Faruja, 
He's looking at this board. You can tell he doesn't want to play it out anymore. He understands that the minor pieces will team up not just against his first pawn, but against his last remaining pawn as well. And so for Faruja, he wishes that he could restart this tournament and play a much better first half because that would have allowed him chances to kill. Fabi has this under control. He has two minutes more than his opponent. He does take the Black Knight. There's no counterplay. And uh, I think we might see a handshake any moment. Vidit, up and down tournament. But uh, he's entertained so many people. He's got some great wins, but unfortunately now um, a couple of losses in a row. Fabi, yeah, he knows. Look at that uh, glance at the opponent. Shake of the head from Vidit. Final stages of this game, Robert. Yeah, you see, you know, for Vida Gujarati, he's proven that he can beat some of the best players on the planet. He took down Hikaru Nakamura twice. In fact, if it weren't for Vida, and the handshake is there, Fabiano Caruana beats Vida Gujarati, and that means that we have three players in first place with seven half points, and Fabiano Caruana gets the seven, just a half point behind. He defeats Vida Gujarati in what at first was a small positional advantage then became a tactical affair, and Fabiano Caruana heads into the rest day with a new two others in the candidates with just two rounds to go. So I just want to... on What I was saying is that Gukesh, the way he was able to bounce back after a very bad performance in the Isle of Man, he lost so many rating points. And when you're on that, uh, you know, on that line, just straight shooting up to 2,800, and suddenly uh, you're... A ship is rocked, and you're now back down to 2720. Things can feel bad, but Judith, the way he's been able to play since then. Let me tell you. But I mean, let me tell you. Oh man. Okay. Things are getting dangerous. I'm scared. Oh, wait it's a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. You go up. You have to go rook g. Yeah, rook g two. And now, um, queen f three. How do you stop? Yeah. Wow. G yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. And, and that's, that's it, it, folks. That's it. And that's it. Wow. Wow. And with the black pieces in the most critical line in Atomic back Theory. Back to back black pieces. And wow. You know, I just want to say that, like, what a great day of Atomic Chess. And this is a beautiful way to end it because White brought the A game, the A yeah. plus S tier Queen D6 line, and Black still wins. So when someone tells you, if, you know, oh, I don't play Atomic because it's a win for White. No, no, it isn't. White is maybe better. White is definitely better, but it's never easy. It's never easy. And this shows that against the most critical line white can play. Black still takes the bag, takes the championship, and shout out younger brothers. The pawn a four, both those were good choices. He made a good one. The h4 pawn uh, might drop if the pawn on h5 is captured, and that might be just enough. And that is why. Look at Hikaru. He's showing restraint. He's keeping as many pawns on the board as possible, but he's upset. David, I think we see it on his face. Uh, what, what's happening here? Wait, what? Wow. I think Alareza went to stop the clock. He thought that uh, he could write down the moves, catch up on the score sheet uh, without losing any time on the clock. And I think Hikaru said, you should run your time. Uh, Hikaru was up to date with the moves on the score sheet. And uh, Hikaru there is correct. So, um, yeah. Meisterschaft wurde halt von vornherein gesagt. Ähm, Essen und Trinken gibt es da an der Bar, die da in der Lokalität war. Huh? Und ähm, 